Hello everybody, my name is Reldrick, and this is my never-ending back catalog of games, and today's game is Wildfire, which is a very pretty-looking 2D stealth puzzle platformer. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the Steam page here, it is very pretty. I love the aesthetic, I love the way it looks. Um, the map design looks really cool. The character design looks really interesting. It looks like there's a lot behind this game. It's currently sitting at a very positive review, released May 25th, 2020, by Sneaky Bastards. It's a Humble Bundle published game, which I think that's actually where I got it from, was a, uh, a recent Humble Bundle, which is fine. It's awesome. Um, you probably won't be able to get that. Uh, hashtag not sponsored <laughs> there is a demo you can you can download and the game is $15 so we'll go ahead and go in and take a look at it it looks really interesting I'm really excited to play it actually I'm really really excited to play it so first things first what I always like to do is like to go into the options and take a look at some of the options that we have so if we go into gameplay so it looks like you can go in here and uh, adjust some gameplay you can even do speedrunner Ooh, there's co-op I was not aware that there's co-op. That is really cool. Uh, advanced enemy patrols. Okay, so you can make the game a lot harder with one-hit kill timer. You can you can disable and re-enable fall damage. Oh, that's really interesting. So completely rebindable. Um, completely rebindable keys. It looks like accessibility mode. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, up key also jumps. Um, you can use a controller to play. I mean, what what else is there? Is wait, are the keys actually rebindable? Tisk tisk tisk. I said rebindable, but did, yeah, remap key, keyboard controls right here. Okay. Video. There's a lot here. <laughs> v sync, pitch black, darkness. Uh, when enabled, dark levels be pitch black and more challenging to navigate. That seems really cool. Colorblind mode, grayscale damage, extra particle effects, faster vertex, buffer, objective markers, control prompts, enemy awareness symbols. Yeah, this game's awesome. It's got everything. It's got everything. I've been playing so many bad games lately that uh, <laughs> seeing this just makes me happy. Let's go ahead and do a new... Uh, so it's local co-op only. That's fine. Oh, let's just do a single player. We'll do single player. Hey, you! Wake up! Oh! Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're with us again. Good. The test I need to perform. Don't worry. If you fail, you'll be free to go. Okay. Uh, all you need to do is stay right where you are. Okay. burn and she said if we fail we're free to go right oh my goodness wow what We've never been this far from the village before. Just stick to the plan, you remember? The plan where I wait here while you go find the VIP and bring them back to me. What? Someone has to watch our escape route. Besides, it's your turn wearing the cape today. Go. Okay. Alright, alright. Hold shift to sprint. Okay. Let's not, let's not do, uh... <laughs> the, the developer or that journalist cuphead video where he couldn't even get past the tutorial you automatically hide in tall grass okay we can drop down we can swim we have an oxygen meter we can climb let's jump over here climb over I'm digging it already I'm digging it already <laughs> We had to find a chicken. All right. With dinner? Oh, no. <laughs> the chicken is dinner. Oh, I actually have to... Okay. 
I was wondering what, what, what the mouse was going to be used for, but I actually have to use it to, uh, to throw things. You can climb while carrying things, okay. Well, that's good. Well, that's good to know. <gasps> oh, it's got a Zelda-style thing where you jump and you hover with the chicken. You can't hire while carrying things. Nice. We did it. The Harvest Festival is saved. Let's get back home. Yay for the Harvest Festival. Oh, there's a pup. There's also a meteor or, or, or that no one realized. Oh, there you go. Something fell from... No! The chicken! Chicken! Throw the chicken to me, then go check it out. Alright. Don't oh, shoot. Hold on. We got it. We got it. We'll, we'll throw in the chicken. Alright, investigate the meteorite. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we can talk to him, though. Let's go ahead and do that. Looks like Regal ran off to check it out. You better go chase the sneaky bobcat down. Wait, was that not a dog? Oh, it is a bobcat. Oh, you punk. Oh, no. Okay. I knocked him out. Oh, my goodness. I knocked him out. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Okay. I knocked him out and just put him in his like buck his, his thing of barrels. That's too funny. Oh, I have to uh, sneak past this get girl. All right. I bet you can't make. Oh, told you I'm the best jumper in the village. Yeah, boy. Oh. I'm definitely not going in there. Well, I'm going to go in here. This is a pretty game. While sprinting, press S to slide. Oh, and you do like a little fast. Okay. You can land safely and quietly, or silently, on grass. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. This is uh, this is actually quite a bit of fun. I mean, I haven't really done much of it. There's 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 the thing. There's the meteor. Meteorite, anyways. Why would you touch it? Hey, did you hear that? We gotta hide. It must have landed just up ahead. You think? I'll bet everyone way back at the palace saw where it landed. Ugh. Just shut up and stand back while I remove this plank. You pass by enemies unnoticed while hidden in grass. That was dramatic. I just hope the next thing I get to cut down is a witch. Oh no, since we touched the meteorite, are we a, a witch now? Are we a witch now? Okay. Alert, pursuing alert, but can't see, investigating a disturbance. Okay. Will they follow me between screens? Okay. I think this game would be better played with the controller, which I may try that um, when I when I play it a little bit more later. Oh my goodness! Everything's destroyed. Wait, we already saw that though. No, the guy got out of his box. Move it, prisoners.
you're in trouble now. Wait, wait, wait. How do I... Okay. Are they dead? I think I had to do that. There's no way. They, like, cornered me on both sides. I'm conscious. I hit them with the blunt side. Aw, oh, just tell us that you killed them. Good thing. Good. String them up. Captain will be here any minute. Hey, you. Wake up. Ah, you're with us again. Good. There's a test needed to perform. Don't worry. If you fail, you'll be free to go. All you need to do is stay right there where you are. Burn. 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 Can I... Can I scuff it yet? It's working, it's working. It worked too well. Retreat. Yeah, so we touched the meteorite and we gained some powers. Embrace fire. Summon a fireball to your hands from a nearby source of flames in the environment. Oh, how cool is that? So I can do this over here then. Oh, look at this. Can I take it between screens? Okay. If you get too hot, you'll catch on fire. Stay on fire too long, you'll start losing health. Extinguish yourself from the water to survive. Okay. Oh, I need to embrace the fire over here. Okay. I'm digging this a lot. Oh, hold on. Oh, I didn't, I let the embers spark too too small. Can't really throw that far. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. Alright, so I gotta I gotta do a sprinting jump. There we go. So now we can fight, I'm assuming. Burning grass makes people panic and ignore you. <laughs> oh, look at this world map. I love it. So that was the tutorial. Here we are in level one now. Your home was burning and your fellow villagers captured. You may have questions, but no answers lie behind you. Flee into the unknown forest before your enemies can regroup and close in. So this is a save shrine here, I'm assuming. Remember the first the remember the one who first cleverly planned to kindle a spark in the palm of their hand, distracted exactly when things heated up by well meaning partner and sweet scented cup. Some tear D. Oh no, look what's happening there. Your nightshirt is burning, and so is your hair. The stink was sulfurous, the howling intense, as blankets came smothering to their defense. And later, as both parties bathed in the creek, they pondered the mischief their strange fire might wreck. When learning to set your poor fingers alight, be wary of what you don't mean to ignite. Oh, so it's like a little poem, like a little, little warning of uh, don't play with fire. Optional objective, make two soldiers panic. I didn't, I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Help! Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh... I never said I was good at games like this. No! We gotta run! We gotta run! We gotta run!
There's a grass fire. I got the optional objective. I got it, everyone. It's okay. Objective. Achieve. Plus one spirit. Undetected. Unachieved. No kills. Plus one spirit. Uh, time. Speedrun target is a minute. I wonder how many people are speedrunning this game. Is it a lot? I don't know. It could be a lot. It could be a lot. I could see this being uh, a game that you could easily speedrun. I'd, I'd speed run it with the controller. <laughs> that's the only thing that's 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 some. It's like uh, the keyboard controls. They're okay, but I think this game would le lead to a controller a little bit better. I did fall down here. That's that's embarrassing. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't think. With the uh, no. All right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, here, here are my, no, okay, so I can, yeah, I can saddle across up here, video games, everyone, all right. Fall damage, that's right. Can't forget about fall damage. What is this thing? What is this? My oranges. Oh, it's, is it one of the guys? Huh? Who dares wake me? Oh, it's you. You made it out of the village. Don't tell anyone I was napping on the job. What's that face for? It's pretty cozy in there once you get used to it. What? Everyone has been captured, even my oranges. Listen, this harvest festival isn't just about eating good chicken. Every generation someone from the village has chosen. They are spirited away to this ancient site to watch over this monument. You and Ezra were both looking like top contenders to take over after me. I don't know why, it's just tradition at this point. But those soldiers, that meteorite, maybe it's all connected. Maybe this is what they're looking for. Or maybe it's us. No, it can't be. Nothing ever happens down here. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness. Well, that's never happened before. Fergus, what does the stone say? What does the stone say indeed? New ability, Spirit Link. Okay. Uh, your spiritual link to the elements resonate with ancient shrines found throughout the world. These shrines checkpoints your progress and level and produce fire when touched. Bring fellow villagers to these shrines to rescue them. Oh, sweet. Okay. And I have two spirit points, which means I can... Restore health and bounce a fireball off a non-flammable surface to ignite objects that might otherwise be out of reach. Well, yeah, let's... Uh, I mean, obviously... Oh, we can't. Never mind. I can upgrade this one. No, I can't. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? This, is, this has been really interesting. So let's go ahead and go back over here and take a look at the Steam page really quick. Uh, and look at some reviews. Uh, found it pretty boring and able to keybind spirit sprint to mouse four. Hmm. Banger game, fun, tough, and smart. Good, fun stealth platformer with elemental magic. By uh, by the time you start a new game plus, you have enough skills unlocked. You can really manipulate enemies, and that's what the real excitement begins. Wildfire is a nice looking two D platforming stealth game with a great emphasis on elemental effects. Uh, not the best stealth game. You have to wait more than anything. You have to play a level multiple times to complete the objectives. Would not recommend to people who want to play a stealth game. Also, you can soft lock the game if you use the elements around. You can soft lock the game if you use all the elements around. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I see, I thought it seemed really interesting. Uh, I'm definitely going to give it a little bit more uh, of a shot to play with and. And hopefully I can go a little bit deeper with it. it. does look like there's a lot of different environments. I like the aesthetic. The, the way that it looks is really cool. Um, it looks like there are a lot of uh, different elements and abilities and ways to, to control those abilities. So that's really, really awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try this out. I'm going to connect the controller to it. I do think it leads to more of a controller style of gameplay. Um... 
just by the nature of the game itself. Do they have, does this developer have any other games? Just Wildfire. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a demo. The demo is probably that first little level that I did. So, and it's co-op. That's right, it's co-op too. Man. I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm re I really am. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Well, anyways, that was today's episode. As you know, it's just a first in first impression series um, for a lot of these different games. So, just, uh, just, just jump in here to check it out. See, see what the games are like. Uh, anyways, take care, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.